What's going on guys, Ness here. And I have a large amount of some outside of the norm, kind of outside of the ordinary handheld devices and whatnot. So I thought I would share a couple of those with you. I guess I, I'm kind of a collector, if you will. If I see something odd or different or outside of the norm, for some reason I just gotta have it. So this one that I'm gonna show right now is the Let Cool. And uh, according to the box, it plays 8-bit games, 16-bit games, and 32-bit games. Um, but that's not the most unique feature because there are a ton of emulation devices and MP5 players out there that kind of do the same thing. What makes this one unique is that, as you can see right here, it's advertised as a two-player game station. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the contents of this box out and lay it all out for you. So first you have the console itself, which is very reminiscent of a DS, but minus the upper portion of it. I like it, I mean, it's got a really good feel to it. Feels good to hold, buttons are nice, and that's the unit pretty much. You got your manual, device manual. Uh, most of it is in uh, broken English. You have your AV connector cable. You can connect this thing to a standard definition television and display it on there. Charger, North American style charger, USB data transfer cable, and this is the unique feature of the system. The system comes with these two controllers, these two game pads, which allow you to play the emulated games two-player mode multiplayer which I find to be very unique and that's basically what made me buy the system to begin with so let me fire the system up and show you guys how it operates so as you guys can see the system has more of a PSP style interface you got your game music videos camera uh, photo viewer, voice recorder, ebook reader, alarms, FM radio, etc., calendar, etc., etc., etc. Um, all these subfolders that are there that are present. So let's go into the games. I preloaded it with a couple of ROMs, a couple of backups. Um, I will say right off the bat, I had a hard time getting Sega Genesis to run on this thing. Um, it is possible. It's just the emulator doesn't work very well. But the SNES and Game Boy Advance simulators seem to work pretty flawlessly. Let's see, what could I load up right here? I will load up Mega Man X. Turn up the volume a little. extremely loud I'm running Super Mario World As you can see, it runs pretty good. Here I am running Mega Man Zero with the Game Boy Advance emulator. Now this uh, ROM seems to be one that other handheld emulation devices have a hard time running. This one actually runs it pretty good. So now let me show you guys pretty much the main reason why I even purchased this system. It's for these. Let's see how well these things work with the system. 
I really wish they had put the input for these controllers on the top of the system instead of on the bottom. It's kind of hard to balance, so please forgive me for having it on this slant. Um, so right now I'm going to demonstrate a game. I will go with uh, Street Fighter. That would be a good way to test this gamepad with some Street Fighter. Once again, guys, I do apologize for that slant. These things actually don't have as cheap of a feel as I thought they would, and they actually feel pretty nice. Oh dang. Well, it works. Works pretty nice. Um, and it'll be a, a blast to play with a second person on the go pretty much anywhere where you're at. And that's the Let Cool, guys. I mean, uh, it's a neat little system. I really love the multiplayer feature. Um, but for the price of this system, you can definitely get a better emu handheld emulator on the market like there are plenty of Android based ones that are within the same price range as this one that just completely outperform it. Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. I think out of the base non Android operating system emulation devices this is definitely one of my favorites. So uh, thanks you guys for watching and until next time this is Nas signing off.